Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. It is your boy, Brandon, AKA your mom's favorite pizza boy. And today I'm back at it again with a, a long awaited review. And that is the first hand supply styling clay. Now, if you're not up on the pomade world, clays and clay pomades have been the hot deal. So if you're a pomade brewer and you haven't put a clay out yet, uh, it's kind of disappointing for most people. Not for me, but for most people, they really want to see a clay. And uh, this is first hand's first styling clay, first clay product. So uh, let's get right into it. What makes this product unique is that other than being the first first hand styling clay, uh, this is supposed to be giving like a medium to firm, I get a firm hold, uh, as well as giving you good volume. Uh, now looking at the jar, it's very similar to the first hand pomade in that it has the design on the top um, and very simplistic labeling, which I'm a fan of. I, I don't really like it when a pomade label is really too busy. I think it can be distracting, but this is something that you see. You could see this sitting in like your barber shop, or you could just see it sitting uh, like, I don't know, in a dorm room or something. It, it kind of is very versatile uh, the way that it looks, in my opinion. The uh, ingredients on it are water, cannelin clay, beeswax, carinuba wax, emulsifying wax, shea butter, vegetable, glycerin, hydrogenated castor oil, apricot oil, jojoba oil, sea salt, fragrance, and essential oils. Now, opening it up, the color is kind of like your typical, like, off-white, tannish clay color. The scent on this... It's kind of hard to explain. It's sweet, almost a tad spicy, but masculine. And I think it borders more on the sweet side than the masculine side. But if I had to say what type of scent it would be, I would say it's more of a neutral, kind of Swedish vanilla-ish type scent. Kind of like that. <laughs> the scoopability on this, you can see I've used a lot of it. The scoopability on this is you have to put some pressure into it, but it comes out. That's a big scoop. It comes out uh, pretty easy. Breakdown on it, even if you get a giant scoop, really creamy. You can see uh, that it's just, it's really easy <laughs> to use. And I like this product too, being a clay. It breaks down almost to like a Mm, kind of like a paste, but the best part about it is since it's like bright white, it's really easy to see if you're, uh, if you like miss any on your hands or your hair, because you can see there'll be like these spots in your hair. And that, I mean, that'll usually happen if you do big scoops like me. If you do smaller scoops, there won't be white spots in your hair. But it's nice because you can, uh, it really helps you when you're applying it. Uh, application, uh, it's not bad. There's very little tugging and pulling, although you might see some hairs pop out. I really don't have an issue with this product overall when it comes to application uh, and breakdown. It's a pretty easy and enjoyable um, experience. Slicking it back, um, some resistance, not too bad. Uh, pretty simple, actually. And you'll notice for a clay, there is a tiny bit of shine, but it's not bad. But overall, slicking with this product is pretty easy. Um, it'll kind of start to firm up as if you leave it in your hair too long. I mean, it's not like on a timer. It's not like something that you can't uh, you can't really work with, you know, if it starts to firm up. But I have noticed, and this is one of my one of the flaws with this product that I have is that it's kind of strange in that it comes off really easy to slick but it's also really dry and i found that i don't know my sides my my sides want to kind of pop up and my style kind of want wants to fall out when i use this it could be the nature of my job but um i'll get into that a little bit more in a couple minutes styling with the afro pick uh you can see you get some pretty decently good volume with this stuff which is i mean that's what you want out of a clay, right? Is good volume. And I haven't tried finger combing with this stuff, but that's not really the type of way that I use a clay. I use a clay kind of uh, like a pomade, to be honest with you. Styling with the Afro pick, you can see you can get some pretty decent volume out of this. Not too bad, actually. Um, it's really easy to style with, which I like about this product. Really easy to use, apply, and style with, and overall, a enjoyable experience when using this all together. 
I think that's gonna do it for me. Got some pretty good volume, really easy to style with, and that's definitely what you want out of a clay, is a really nice volume. It's not work safe though, that's for dang sure, that pomp. So uh, what are my thoughts on first-hand styling clay? Well, it's pretty good. It has good slickability. It's easy to put in the hair. It feels light in the hair, but it gives you good hold. Um, the only thing, the only issue that I have with this product that uh, was really, really, became really, really apparent when I was working is that the endurance on this stuff is not very good. Meaning that if you're gonna be bending down like this, once you get into the day, like right now it's sticking really nice, but once you get into the day, your hair might fall out. Now, that's not a big issue for clay users, especially because they want volume or they want to finger comb the product or they just want their hair to do what they want it to do. Um, or, um, you know, they like to restyle and they like a loose look. For me, where I like to keep my, you know, hair in a style all day, it, it's, it was tough for me to work in this product without having to consistently restyle it. But that's not a bad thing. Like I said, that just means that this is more of a light duty clay. Um, it is going to give you a good hold. It's just if you're doing a lot of active movement and work or just, you know, you're out and about and there's a lot of um, activity going on, there's a good chance that it might not hold up endurance wise. But other than that, everything else uh, fires on all cylinders with this product. So this is more of a, what would I call it? Like a date product or a weekend product for me, not a work product. Um, if I had to give this a rating, I would give it a four out of five. This is a great pomade, well, a great styling clay, I should say, um, works good. And I think it will do exactly what a clay user would want. So if you're big into clays and you want to give this a shot, I think this would work well. I haven't also, I haven't used a blow dryer with this, but I heard that you can get some really good results out of this um, blow drying and styling your hair, which is another thing that clay users like to do. If you guys have tried this, let me know what you think and uh, let me know how you feel about it and uh, hope you have a good one.